Hello everyone. So I am finally back today doing a little sit down video with my little Layla here and she is trying to drink a little bit of her formula because she wanted to eat before I change her right you wanted to eat a little bit so I wanted to come and do a little video today just sit down and chat for a moment and check in with everyone um, I hope everyone enjoyed their Christmas I had a nice Christmas with my family and everything everything went well we got through it and it was nice no mishaps no major you know events that went on everything went pretty well my kids got what they wanted so they were happy and that makes me happy so that is what's been going on this week um i took a little bit of a video break just to kind of enjoy the holiday with my kids and my significant other and just kind of I've been relaxing also just thinking and reflecting back on this year in the hobby and everything just taking a look overall at my collection at the moment and all that I've had who came into my collection in 2019 and then who left out of my collection in 2019 so just i've been reflecting a lot thinking a lot um and just kind of taking it easy um and also i've been painting in between my little relaxation then i'll paint a little bit um, I'm still working on the baby that is supposed to be my little Christmas baby girl, um, that I'm keeping, still working on her. She's like almost where I want her at, but not quite there. So I think I need to work on her a little bit more. Um, I don't want to rush cause I want to get her how I want her and because I want to keep her as I said. So I'm trying not to like rush myself. Um, and then I started on another kit, as I said, that I had gotten recently to keep as well. And I'm so excited about him also, which is my Chase by Bonnie Brown. Um, so I couldn't wait to start on him. Like, really, I should have finished who I was already working on. But no, I've already started on the next baby also. Um, I just started on him. I think it was like Monday. So I haven't gotten much done to him, just started him. And then for Christmas, I wasn't painting at all. Like Christmas day and the day after I took a little break from painting. So now I am back to painting. I've been painting um, for the past few days, trying to finish up my little girl that I was trying to finish. And also kind of here and there while she's baking or drying, I'm working on Chase. So that is what I've been doing, um, but a lot of thinking. For some reason, I'm like really, really into deep thought with my collection. Um, and that, I think that's also why I haven't done any videos really in the past couple of days. Taking a break, but also just reflecting and thinking a lot and just trying to like figure out where am I headed with my collection? Um, and the reason I went into all of this thought, I think, is at the moment, because as you guys know, um, the video I did last week where it says I'm frustrated, where I was trying to sell my Zadia by Claire Taylor, my little Matthew, and just all of the different things that was going on with me trying to sell him and everything. And me wanting to go after the new Willow Awake kit by Claire Taylor. And how it's not a guarantee you're even going to get one. And all of that mayhem with that. So it really made me think about 
do I want to sell him? Should I sell him? And meanwhile, I was selling him, trying to go after something that I don't even have, yet I'm letting go of a doll I have that I'm enjoying and going after something that I don't know if I'm going to get type of thing. It's not a sure thing. So I, I guess that made me really start to just think and reflect and you know just figure out like where am i going with my collection and how far i've come with getting babies that i really wanted you know the babies i was striving to get all of these years of my collecting now six years of collecting for me um and if you're new to my channel this is my little layla here as i said and she is the Dwayne Denia or Dania sculpt by Claire Taylor Dolls. And she is Dania the girl. And I have had her since last year of 2018. And just like with this baby, I was thinking about how I've had her over a year now. And how I just like, I'm so in love with her still. You know, she is, like I said, one that I would just not think of, dream of letting go of. Like, just no way would I let go of this little one. Um, and it's so nice in this hobby when you finally do get to the dolls that you really want. You just love them, you enjoy them, and you don't want to let them go. It's so such a good feeling to get to that place. Um... So that's where I am with this little one, um, definitely. And then also with my little Gabriel, like I was thinking of doing the video today with him as well. I couldn't figure out like who did I want to do the video with today. I'm going to put the camera down so you guys can see her. I'm going to try and change her while I'm talking. And this outfit that I'm putting on her is kind of like, hopefully I can get her in it in this video. Put it that way. <laughs> like some outfits, I like to change them on the changing table. But I'm going to take a chance and try and change her into it on my lap. And it has tights and all of that. So we're going to see what we can do with her on my lap. But... It is a jockety outfit that I got for her. And I was intending to let her wear this for Christmas, but then I changed my mind. But it has these cute little green, dark green tights with the little pink around the foot. And it's kind of like scalloped edge um, around the pink to make a little design. And then it goes with this cute Liberty print um, I think it's called Primrose, I believe. Um, little romper and it has like the, the ruffly collar and it has buttons in the front. And this is a jockety. This time I got this one in a three month um, because Kelly Girl has this same one for Monroe and she was saying the one month was kind of close fitting. So this time I made sure I ordered this one in a three month and I also wanted Yasmin to be able to wear it sometimes where they could share it. So I figured Yasmin would more fit a three month also. So I got a three month and as you can see, it's dark blue inside this. So that is why she is wearing this long sleeve white onesie here. And I can't see the minutes on my phone, but this video might be a little bit long as I'm talking and changing her. And then the little shoes that goes with this, I couldn't even get. I'm so mad because I waited too long and they had pretty, I'm not going to even say cute. I'm going to say pretty little burgundy shoes, patent leather that went with this outfit. And I waited and they ran out of the little size I needed. So, she's going to wear these little burgundy shoes, although this cream bow doesn't really go, but I like the way the shoe looks with the outfit, the burgundy. I was going to let her wear her little pink ones, but I prefer the burgundy, and then it has the little headband that goes with it. So, we're going to be trying to get her into this. Wow, 
while I'm talking. So yes, as I was saying, I was thinking I wanted to do the video with Gabriel. I've been hanging out with my little Gabriel a lot um, as I've been reflecting and he is my Andrew by Clea Taylor Dolls for those who may be new to my channel. Um, and the reason I, I like wanted to kind of do the video with Gabriel is because of all of my looking back on my hobby this past week and reflecting. And as you guys know, he recently just came back home a little over a month ago. And I'm just so grateful to have him back. And he is definitely, like I said, he done left and came back twice already. I brought him in three times and he left twice and came back twice. <laughs> so at this point, I know that also he is kind of a keeper. Um, I don't want to let go of him again. I'm pretty sure on that. Um, this baby here that I'm changing, Layla, definitely a keeper. So I noticed that I've kind of reached this new plateau, um, this new milestone in my collecting where I'm like wanting to hold on to certain babies now where they're keepers and I don't really, really don't want to part with them. And I'm pretty sure on it, like, um, before I would sell and if I seen something else I wanted, I would just sell, you know, there was no such thing as a keeper baby. Like, you know, I would just go ahead and sell whoever I needed to sell to get what I want, <laughs> you know, type of thing. But I noticed I've, I've reached a new milestone in my collecting where, as I've said recently, it's kind of like I'm going back to the beginning where in the beginning, when I first started collecting, I didn't want to let go of any of my babies. Um, I thought all of them were keepers in the beginning, and that was my intention to keep them all. But then as I started wanting this baby and that baby and the prices of the babies, I had no choice where I had to eventually sell dolls in order to get more dolls. I realized, oh, I can't keep all of them or I'm going to be stuck. I can't. You know, I can't buy anything else if I'm keeping everything. So now it's still that way, but I will sell to buy still, but I noticed that I'm a little more cautious with it. I'm a little more where I'm not going to set certain babies is, is just, I'm not going to sell them. Put it, I don't care how badly there's something else that I want. It's just certain babies I'm not I'm not going to sell. Um, so that this is something new now for me. Like as badly as I would have loved to go after a Willow Awake prototype, I know in order for me to do that, I would have had to sell like at least three of my silicone dolls to do that. And I just wasn't, I'm not willing to do that. Um, no matter how badly I would love to go after the Willow prototype, I've just reached this place where I'm just not willing to sell certain babies, you know, to go after babies. Um, so this is like something new for me, definitely something new. Um, and these, one thing I noticed with putting on these babies' clothes, you put their legs in first, the top of it, and this is a three months now. It's so hard to get their arms in. And I don't like like bending their arms all up to get them in these sleeves. And this is a three months. So she should definitely have enough space in this outfit. But it's like I'm having to bend her arm in an awkward position just to get this outfit on her. And this arm, if you guys notice how relaxed this arm is, this this armature is no, no longer working. So I'm kind of upset about that. Well, I'm upset about it, but then I'm not. Put it that way. <laughs> that makes no sense. I'm upset because it's not working. And it happened when I was putting on something on her that was tight. The arms was tight. And so be careful what you're putting your dolls in if they have armatures in their arms or legs, armatures. 
she don't have them in her legs. I'm kind of happy that she doesn't. Um, but she has armor, the full armatures in her arms. Um, and if I had my choice, again, I would not get full armatures because it definitely restricts the movement in their arms. Um, the arms are not as relaxed from... Yasmin has the elbow armatures and from looking at other babies with elbow armatures on video I prefer if I'm gonna have an armature I would prefer the elbow armature so you can have some control of the arm but not where the arm is so just rigid the the full armature is really rigid you cannot maneuver the arm as much and if you do you have to be really careful or you will break the armature so she has been here over a year. July was a year. And this this armature just stopped working maybe two weeks ago, a week ago, week and a half, something like that. So it was doing well. But as I said, I tried to put her something I was putting on her. And I turned that arm the wrong way. And I knew it, I knew I had broke it. Because I could tell all of a sudden her arm was so nice and relaxed. So now the reason I like it is because it's kind of, it made her arm more relaxed. And I kind of like that. So I'm kind of on the fence now. Do I like armatures or I don't like them? Or if I can get an armature, if I really want one, I would prefer if I could get the elbow armature only. Just a little something to put out there just in case you guys are getting dolls and you know you don't know about the armatures or you're not sure. Or if you have one and they have the full armature, especially this full armature, be careful. So now she has one nicely relaxed arm and then this one still, the armature is still working. Um, and what I like because she has this soft silicone, I, it allows me to see like when I put her arm back. And it does that little slow movement like that. I love that with this particular silicone, how it just moves slowly back into position. So now since this arm has no armature, it kind of allows me to see that little movement that I like. But yeah, just be careful with the armatures with getting their arms in these sleeves. Because I'm telling you. It's like you got to do all kind of bending motions to get these babies' arms in these sleeves. I don't know if I should put the, the sleeves on first. It just seems backwards. Normally, I put the baby's legs in first. But the way these outfits been fitting, and it's not just jockety. It's a few of the things I've been putting on the babies. I just noticed, like, you have a hard time getting their arms in. And if it's a reborn, it don't really matter. But for silicone babies, this matters a heck of a lot, getting their arms in these clothes. But anyway, getting back to my conversation. What am I at? I cannot see my clock from how I have the camera. But I think it says like 18 minutes or something. But anyway, just looking back on my collection now and moving forward with it, I'm definitely more careful, I notice, about who I will sell and who is just off limits from selling at this point. Um, and it was really hard for me to let go of Zadia to get to, you know, to make that decision because I really did like him in my silicone collection. So he has a possible mommy pretty much. Um, I will know for sure sale pending. I will know for sure in a couple of days from now, but pretty much looks like, you know, he has a new mommy, little Zadia, for those who might've been wondering. I still had people messaging me today, asking me, is he still for sale? Um, so, and it seems like after he had a new mommy that I got even more inquiries, <laughs> about people wanting to buy him it seems to go that way first he was taking a while to sell then all of a sudden i had you know offers even for a trade and all kind of stuff a nice trade too i must say um but yeah it made me really realize when i was getting him ready i went ahead he's all packed up packed him up um when was that friday and it like really hit me that I was letting him go. <laughs> and I was a little bit almost nervous about it. 
it's like it hit me and I got nervous because I, you know, I'm hoping I'm doing the right thing. Like I said, because I'm going after something I don't have yet and I'm letting go of something I'm enjoying. And, you know, I'm just hoping, hoping that it goes right with me going after Willow Awake and that I can actually get, you know, my Willow Awake blank kit to paint. Um... And I felt kind of down as I was packing up my little Matthew Zadia. And I didn't expect to feel like that. But all of a sudden, as I was packing him up, I felt a little bit down. Um, I wish that I could have kept him and still went after the Willow Awake. But financially, for me, it just wasn't possible to do that. I don't think I should do that. I don't think it was feasible for me to do that. And the Willow is something, a kit that I really would love to have back in my collection. Um, and I had to want Willow bad enough to let go of my Zadia for sure. I had to really want him, you know, want that Willow. I don't know if it's going to be a boy, but I want a boy Willow awake. But, it, you know, I'll take any, either boy or girl. Um, because that's how badly I would like another Willow in my collection. So definitely, I had to really want that Willow in order to, you know, let go of my Zadia. But I think I'm a little nervous now, just praying that I am able to get a Willow awake. You know what I'm saying? Um, so these tights, she can wear them without a shoe, which that's what I like with these little baby tights because it has a little design on the toes and all of that. So it looks really cute where if you don't want them with shoes, they can wear it like this. But I want to try it with a shoe and then I probably will just take the shoes off after I take her little pictures. And these tights I'm going to have to take off anyway and put her little light tights under them. Again, I was supposed to bring them light color tights up here to put under these tights and I forgot. So I will have to do that after the video because these tights are really dark. So I definitely have to um, put another pair of tights underneath them. But they fit really nice, and they're not droopy, droopy at the ankles. I like that. And it's cute even if you don't want to shoe on the baby. You can just let them wear these tights without any shoes. I still see that little pink. I was trying to cover it up with the shoe, but it doesn't want to cover. But anyway, so that's where I'm at. Um... And I thank all of you who reached out to me privately and was saying that, you know, I could do different other things to try to get the willow awake and not let go of Matthew. And I really appreciate all of your suggestions and everything for those who were, you know, giving me different alternatives rather than letting go of my Matthew. But I, I think that Letting him go is the easiest way for me, the most feasible way um, to go after, to have the funds available to just go after the Willow Awake kit. It just made more sense to go ahead and let him, let him go um, and try to work it that way. That way it's not so much of a financial strain trying to keep everything and go after new stuff. <laughs> so that is why I decided to just go ahead and let him go. Um, also, two, I think at least two people were saying um, do try to do layaway for the Willow Awake kit. And I wanted to say... With the Willow Awake kits, normally Claire Taylor does offer layaway with her kits, but I am not sure if layaway is an option this time because I didn't hear her say anything about layaway this time. Normally she'll mention layaway, so I don't even know if there is a layaway this time. This pink going to bother me because I see it through the top of the shoe. And I don't want to see the pink if she has on the shoe. <laughs> I just want to see the green. Um, so that would have been an option to do layaway, but I don't even know if she's doing layaway. So I just want to be prepared 
you know, financially just be ready when she releases those kits where I just have the money to kind of pay for it. Um, and then also now I don't like doing layaway. I started out as a layaway queen, let me tell you. I've always said that. When I started out collecting the silicone dolls, in most cases, I had to do layaway. And that's what got me started and made it possible for me to collect my silicone dolls was layaway in the beginning and also secondary market. But now as I've been collecting for six years, I don't like doing layaway. I'll do it if I had to, if I really, really had to, but I don't like layaway. I like to just get the doll and it's, and, and I just get it once I pay for it. I'm kind of impatient. Like this baby, I had uh, started off with her as a layaway and she wasn't made yet. She was a custom and everything. And I had, I think Claire was doing nine months layaway at the time. And I figured, okay, I'll just pay over the time. I didn't like paying like that. I hurry up and pay for this baby. In two months, I was done paying for her. And then I was just waiting for Claire to finish her. Um, and that was agony waiting for her to be finished. But at least I had finished paying for her. And I liked that. It was, you know, it freed my mind. I didn't have to worry about it. I already finished paying for her. So whenever she was done and completed, then she was done. So now, even if I'm buying babies that are already done and I'm just buying them, I prefer to just buy it and it be coming home in the next two days or so and I have the baby because I don't like waiting. So I really don't want to do a layaway. I want to just be able to pay and then a couple of days later, the, the kit be coming to me or whatever I'm buying. Um, so that's where I'm at with that. But I, that's a good question. I don't even know if she's doing layaway for anybody that, you know, anybody else that's probably wanting to do layaway or thinking about doing a layaway for the kit. I have no idea about that. All I know is that she's doing them buy it now this time. So to me, buy it now means there's no layaway, but I could be wrong. Um, so that is where I'm at. And then someone else said I should buy a different kit first and practice before I get the willow and, and paint it. That's another option. But I have been practicing on like dolls that I've touched up in my collection. And I also have these little heads, silicone doll heads that I've shown. I showed one of them a while ago where you use them to practice. I use those to practice. I have all of my silicone paints and everything already. I have a lot of the supplies that someone gifted to me already. So I actually just want to go ahead at this point and buy the kit full body blank kit and just try my luck and paint it myself. That is my 2020 goal was to get a blank full body silicone kit and paint it for myself. And I had stated that a couple of months ago. That was my 20, you know, goal in 2020. So I'm hoping it will be Willow that I will try painting. But if I don't get a Willow, if it doesn't go right, I'm still going to get a blank kit to paint. That is my goal. <laughs> a full body silicone blank kit to paint for myself. That is definitely a goal you know, for me for 2020. Something I'm looking forward to at the moment is trying my hand um, finally to paint a whole full body silicone doll. And I've been looking at some other ones just in case if I can't actually get a willow if it doesn't work out with that. You know, I've been looking at some other kits from other artists. But anyway, this is a sneak peek of who I've been working on. And this light looks weird in here right now. So I don't know if her color is going to show up, but this is where I am with her. I'm going to just show you the back of her head. I'm not going to show y'all the whole baby or, the, or her face. Um, but you can take a guess at who she is. And she is not that big if you see her little head in my hand. So that is the one baby I've been working on and almost done. And then this is my little Chase. I already told you guys I was working on him. Not much done to him yet. I don't see any of the details on this camera at the moment that I put on him. I can't tell nothing, but I'll see how it looks when I upload. 
But that is as far as I'm with Chase, just starting him. And I just love this baby. Like, love, love this kit. Another kit that I love. And even, like, he doesn't even have any real color on him yet. And I'm just so in love with his face. Just like, just like this, I could, like, put this baby together and dress it. You know, that's how much I love it. I don't even need, he don't need hair or nothing. But those are the babies I am painting. And I plan on, when I finish the little girl, I will then um, do another real born jade um, to sell probably also. So this is my girl today. She's all dressed and we will go now. So happy new year, guys. Wishing you guys a happy, healthy 2020. It will soon be here and we will see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching.